Understanding the architecture is important to understand the entire ecosystem of development tools within Dynamics 365. So let's just go ahead and have an overview of that. So over here in this diagram, you see a Dynamics 365 CRM architecture in the most uh, simplistic terms. So if you see this first uh, dotted line over here, it separates the client side components from the server side components. And wherever you see these gear icons, those components are customizable. That means you can write some kind of code over there to customize that uh, component. And these customizable components are available both in the client side and also on the server side. Now, every Dynamics 365 system interacts uh, with databases and uh, there are two kinds of database. One is the metadata uh, database and that is data database, which stores the data. We do not have to be too concerned about uh, the databases of Dynamics 365 because that is taken care by the platform. And also uh, you cannot directly access or make changes to the database with any kind of custom code. Now to understand that better, let's just understand what kind of custom code you can write. So there are two types of uh, custom codes that you can write. One is the server side um, custom code and another is client side custom code. Now in the server side custom code, you can write something such as plugins or custom workflows. Whereas in the client side, you can do JavaScripts, web resources or HTML web resources or even CSS web resources and so on. Now when you're writing plugins, workflows or JavaScript, you cannot directly access the CRM database uh, through custom codes. It has to go through something called as APIs or the web services. So uh, the custom code calls the web services and the web services in, uh, interacts with the database and sends back the data, right? Now how the web services interact with database, we do not have to be concerned with that because that is something that the platform itself takes care of. Now, this is an architecture in a nutshell. We'll discuss more in upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Thank mm -hmm. you.